Welcome to Four Hour Adventures. Good morning and welcome to sunny, sunny Florida. I'm here um, near Johns Pass and today um, I'm going to take you on a four hour adventure. We're going to go from here to Egmont Key, have a little look around, see what we can find, what we can get into and, uh, and get back all within four hours. So how is this possible? The gift of Axapar. So the gift of an Axapar 28 is it can pretty much get you anywhere. Um, obviously, don't go out in a hurricane, but outside of that, it doesn't matter how big the boat is, this boat will get you there. It performs incredibly, and I'm gonna show you some shots today. But the idea is, and this boat, by the way, is available on boatsetter.com, and they have captains and everything else. So if you're ever in this area, I'll put a link in the description here. Go to boatsetter.com and give your family the gift of one of the most amazing adventures you'll, you'll ever have. Anyway, enough of that. There's a great seating area. There's an air-conditioned cabin. There's an aft cabin. There's sun shades. We'll show you all of that while we're out there today. But I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm itching to get after it. So let's get going. One final thing as well, Jordan from Nautical Ventures is here and he's very kindly in his own time taken some time off work to bring us a bunch of toys to play with today as well. Jordan is actually the guy who sells these Axapars here on the Florida coast and he's been unbelievable. Jordan, thanks very much mate Absolutely. for coming out today yeah, my and uh, you ready to get after it? Let's do it. Let's Let's go. So as I'm heading out here to Johns Pass, I'm going to Egmont, and Egmont's a really exciting place. I haven't actually stepped foot on Egmont Key yet, um, but kind of on the south side of Egmont, you have these beautiful beaches, these turquoise emerald seas. But the history of Egmont as well is fascinating. Um, you know, Egmont is actually named Egmont Key after a chap called, I think his name was John Percival. Anyway, he was like the second Earl of Egmont somewhere over in the where I got my accent from world. But after that, it became kind of pivotal because it was right at the entry to Tampa Bay. So when there were wars, be it the Civil War, Confederates had it for a bit, the Union had it for a bit, the Seminole War, when it looked like there was gonna be the Spanish-American War, all of these things, um, Egmont Key played a part. The lighthouse was decimated in the mid 1800s and then there was an act of Congress to rebuild it. And it was one of only two lighthouses between St. Mark's up in the north, all the way down to the Florida Keys. So it has a massive history. The pilots um, moved in there probably around the 1920s, and they escort all of the huge uh, cargo ships that come in um, to, to Tampa area, all the way down the ship channel. As well as that, um, the lighthouse was taken over and permanently manned by the Coast Guard in about the 1930s. But what really makes it interesting is the beauty of it, so much so that it is now a national preserve for wildlife, and that's what we're gonna go and have a look at today. So, fun facts over with. 
I'm about to get to John's Pass. After I get through that, we're gonna play with the throttles and get to Egmont Key. So that's Eleanor Island. It's right in kind of the center of the sandbanks around John's Pass. And it's a great spot to hang out. Also, if you have like a paddleboard or a kayak or a canoe, um, you can totally uh, paddle through the center of it. But back over this side of things, you've got the pass and on both sides of the pass, you've got marina on the left, obviously, but also Krabby's restaurant. Then on the right, you've got all of these amazing kind of little restaurants and places to hang out and watch the world go by. And literally, I've never been through here or I've never even sat here for dinner without seeing dolphins, without seeing all kinds of fish. Um, you know, fascinating, fascinating place. So whether you're on a boat or whether you're just here on vacation, this is definitely the place to come. We're gonna head through there and ahead of us, we can see the Gulf of Mexico. So um, let's get through this bit and then we can throttle up. So this is it. This is the Gulf um, side of John's Pass. And uh, this is the bit where you're really, really pleased you're in an axe apart. Let's go. We lost it, push deeper into the closet. So thirty minutes later, after leaving John's Pass, and life is not hard. Um, took me about 10 minutes to put the toys up and the shades up on this. This axe par is unbelievable. Um, ran on autopilot all the way over here and just had the best time. Um, but here I am now and I need a break. If only there was somewhere for me to, to sit and relax. So Egmont Key is a really um, special little place. Look at Jordan from Nautical Ventures over here. What's he up to? You're only going to escape so far, my friend. <laughs> Just right in the mouth of Tampa Bay. You can look it up on the map. Um, 30 minutes from John's Pass and probably about 30 minutes from Bradenton Beach, you have um, this barrier island known as Egmont Key, and everything kind of south of here has water like this. This area is unbelievable. If you're here on vacation, I'm gonna try and do a bunch of videos about things you can do while you're here, because one of the things on the Facebook groups is people are always asking, what can we do, things to do, what can we do? Yes, you can you can buy an axe par. Secondly, you can rent an axe par on boatsheader.com like this one. Third, there's a ton of things to do where you can just drive or take an Uber, whether it's Fort DeSoto, whether it's Shell Preserve, whether it's any of those things. There's paddleboard rentals, there's kayak rentals. Downtown St. Pete is fantastic. Um, beautiful place to visit. They have a wonderful river walk there. I might even do a video for there. Um, and again, this is not about me being on your, in your face the whole time. This is about when I'm looking at places to go, I really want to see something um, and get an understanding of the flavor of all of the things. Like there's a guy called Out of the Reef that I follow on YouTube. He's awesome. And he, he spent one night just anchored up by Fort DeSoto. That's where I got the idea. Oh, that's where I can go. Really kind of him to share, but these are the things. So in the description, um, I'll leave kind of, um, I guess, Google map links to, to various places. It may just be coordinates, but at least that way you'll be able to go, oh, that's where it, he was, or that's where we can go to see this. But this is an area of unbelievable beauty. 
Um, you just need to know where to explore. And that's the purpose of these videos, is to hopefully help you shortcut your vacation and be able to just go and see and experience and, and have little four hour adventures all over the place. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying this. If not, I'm really sorry, turn it off. If you are, fantastic. It was definitely made for you. And um, I'd love to see other people's videos as well. So uh, I'm gonna go and join this bozo over here in the water and play with some of these toys. Well, I'm taking a break as you can see, and it's not because I can't stand up on this paddleboard at all. Um, but wow, what a great time. I'm having a great time out here. Uh, Jordan is out here, we've got the sunshades up. Apparently the drone won't fly today, but that's okay. Still gonna give you plenty of things to look at and plenty of ideas to have. Um, and this boat, this Axopar looks unbelievable from the water. So I'm gonna see if I can get a couple of photographs or something to be able to put up here as the drone's not working because it is pretty special. But this is where you could be having some adventures, um, doing this kind of thing. If you wanna do this, I guess boatsetter.com, I'll put the link um, in the uh, description so you can see this Axapar 28 and all its glory. Um, I don't know where everyone is, but I'm kind of pleased that I got the place pretty much to myself. So, right, I've got to go and catch up with Jordan because he's literally paddling rings around me. This is, this is what you call a side saddle. Completely made up. So, you know, there's no, <laughs> there's no, there's no, um, it's how we, it's how we do it in Europe, maybe? I don't know. Um, I just wanted to dangle with my feet in the water, honestly, so I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't try this when you're out here. I would try this when you're out here. I certainly wouldn't have your mates filming you trying it when you're out here. How about that? But have a look at this thing. How cool is that? What we're about to try is a world's first. I don't recommend you do this at home. Possibly try it. No, don't try it here, but we're gonna try it. I'll see you in a second So little detour here, I just wanted to run down to um, Dewfish Key, kind of show you the beauty that is this area. And Dewfish is um, what the locals have as a slang for the giant grouper. And it's, a, it's an unbelievable area, really looks amazing. It's a great anchorage as well, you often see boats stored up here overnight. Um, but Again, this is, you know, another 20 minutes or so further down the road from where we were. And again, completely reachable in one of these boats. So, Jewfish Key, look at the water. And you can see here just how, I mean, this, this to me is Florida. This is what I think of when I come here. This is what I'm seeking out, what I'm looking for. It's just kind of Siesta Key area, just further south from Anna Maria Island and Bradenton and beach and just 
Oh, I love this part of the world. So this is kind of what the world has to see, <laughs> but looking behind me and, and looking as we, this is just one of the benefits. Like we've come in, we've had, you know, the, the waves and we've had the wind and it's been comfortable. We've run on autopilot. Jordan and I are just talking away here, almost nonchalantly. We have to remind ourselves to look out for the lobster pots. And then we're in this really shallow area that most boats can't get into and it's not a problem. And you can see a sandbar over here on my, my port side where people are hanging out, families are hanging out, like kids in ankle deep. And we're a few feet away from them as we go by. And this is just one of the benefits of coming here. And of course, if you don't know about this, how would you know? You know, it's a little hidden secret, right? Absolutely. So, so hopefully through doing this kind of video and this kind of material you'll be able to come look at it and if you are actually in the in the market to buy an axapar you know go see jordan come try it you know come come go to boat setter do the things that boat setter have you do get a captain let them take the strain off and just enjoy the ride has the ride been comfortable today it's been amazing it's been a perfect day on the water so far yeah yeah come and have a look for yourselves but um, and this is the anchorage that a lot of cruisers like to seek out just off Jewfish. And it's, you know, you, it's right by a manatee zone. So you don't always get a ton of weight coming through here. So it's quite peaceful. Okay, so there's dolphins off the bow right now, just here. So we're running into kind of a head sea now. I mean, it, it's not a head sea like, uh, it's just, uh, but the interval between the waves, because it's, it's wind, it's chop. And so it's like every second, boom, boom, boom. So I've got my autopilot on. I'm running about 22 miles an hour just to give Michael behind the camera a little bit of a break. But I got to tell you, autopilot, nice Florida afternoon. <laughs> like Jordan's keeping an eye on things, right? You're keeping an eye on things for us? I'm trying to. Right, so why not off here? You know, <laughs> no, no. No big burden of responsibility, but it's all on you. Okay. Yeah, all right. But, uh, but that's two fish behind us. We better get back because I promise to get you back in uh, four hours. So we're, we're en route. And I'll see you when we get to John's Pass. <laughs>